Yes, I'm John Harrington, and I'm from Colorado, and I'm here at the United Nations uh, Framework Convention on Climate Change, and I'm here with uh, Babaji, and can you tell me who you are, and, uh, and then maybe explain why you're here at this convention? Thank you. I'm Shoham Baba. I'm Shoham Baba from India. I'm the Mahamangalish of Junakara. I'm the chief of the Naga Sadhus. I came here at Cancun for COP16 with lots of hope and expectation that was not there last year, Copenhagen. Okay. COP16 Cancun for me is a big step which was not possible during Copenhagen. I hope that will happen here. I live in the Himalayas, in the higher altitude. I live in the caves. I have seven caves. Last 22 years, I am witnessing huge change in the ecosystem of the Himalayas. In front of me, lots of areas, the glacier melted. Now they are growing lots of rhododendron trees. A huge area in the Himalayas, the snow completely gone. You can see there are only naked rocks and lane. I have documents, evidences, footage. I can show you 20 years ago a different scenario. Now, as with the Himalayan masters, we live in the caves because we practice lots of alternative secret healing methods to heal the people in the world. For that, we need this cave with extreme uh, temperature. But now, the glacier caves melting. We have difficulties. So these are caves in the glaciers? I mean, yes. this is ice It's 200, 300 years old ice. Uh, really? Rocky ice, yes. yes. Hmm. Now, here at Cancun, I would like to uh, explain to many people, which I'm doing every day. I'm almost uh, nine days here. I met many, many journalists, world leaders, social uh, organizations. Um, I call the IGOs I met, the ministers I met, and the civil parties I also I have met them. And everywhere people are very much interested about my story, about my mission. My mission is called Sohom Baba Mission. You can find on www.sohombabamission.com. And we are doing lots of activities for the whole world, globally. Our headquarters in the Netherlands, in Miami, in USA, and Kawasaki, Kenya, and Japan. Now, all over the world, we have huge activities about the climate change, global warming. Last couple of months ago, this year, last Kumbhumela, is a huge spiritual gathering on earth in India where all the saints and sadhus they come together. It's called Kumbh Mela. I was there as the chief organizer, as one of the chief organizers, and there I campaigned about this climate change issue. So my purpose to come here to tell my story. And also one thing I would like to tell to you that I live in the Himalayas, therefore I believe in action. Now is the time to have action, really. Let's go to start something. One day is gone, is lost. One day is gone, is gone for our mother nature. Our mother is crying. So one day is gone, only because of discussion, discussion, mitigation, litigation, jurisdiction, adaptation, all those kind of things, fine. The, all the bureaucratic works are necessary, important things. That's why even they're doing their best. And I, I, I have so much respect for the United Nations, what they're doing. But it is also necessary sometimes for the action. It is now time to act. We have to act globally and we have to act united. Because this climate change issue is a problem of the human nature, is an issue of the human nature, human behavioral pattern. And it cannot be solved individually. It has to be solved collectively. And that's why we cannot wait anymore. And waiting and waiting again and again, it means we are throwing our mother, our mother nature, a devastating threat. 
and we all know what you're talking about. Well, <clears throat> being from Colorado, and uh, I live at 9,000 feet in altitude, so what, 3,000 meters. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, we are, there's, there are people there that uh, do not believe that this is even actually happening. And you are from Himalayas, and this must be a bit higher in altitude and so on. So you are actually seeing um, results of the CO2 emissions in, in global warming. Yes, yes, very clearly, because we live in 13, 14,000 feet in the higher altitude because there nobody is living there. Because we, the secret people, the Himalayan mystic people, we live there. We have some, uh, you know, sometimes uh, some problem with the breathing and things. But we have our own technique. We can cope with it. But according to the question, I mean, we see the result of these uh, black carbon, uh, CO2, CH4, methane, uh, aerosol, all the emissions. We see the, the result. Every day we see the result. Very clear. 20, last 40 years ago, First Himalayan masters we told to the world communities. Last 20 years ago, I told myself this whole problem. The, there, is, there is coming a big threat. But people, they did not want to listen to it. They thought it's a, just it's a kind of myth. It's a kind of kind of illusion. But now everybody talks about it. Well, everybody talks about it, but there are still those people that believe that it is an no, illusion. Look, look, However, the scientists do not. No, no, no. no. In, in, in life, always, you will you'll meet some people always they born to say no yes. there are some people in life you meet they will deny everything they are always a taste a taste of everything so long they believe in themselves and happy that's it well i, I i'm i'm glad you're here to be the ambassador for uh, the himalayas and for the earth and uh, I, I wish you well and uh, Helping out with uh, making this information possible for the rest of the world. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. This is a very nice meeting. You too. Uh, very nice. Thank you.